Another aspect of the wheel power golf swing that's different than the traditional golf swing is that in the traditional golf swing, you'll see golfers tuck their upper arms against their chest. So it kind of looks like that. In the wheel power golf swing, we're emulating a wheel turning machine. And you'll notice that my upper arms come away from my chest. They're not tucked in to my chest. If I tried to turn a wheel with my upper arms locked to my chest, I wouldn't do a very good job turning a wheel. They have to come away from your chest to turn properly. In the wheel power golf swing, your right arm on the backswing is coming up into a throwing motion where your upper arm is away from your chest. So it looks like this. It doesn't look like this where the upper arm is pinned against your chest. For those of you who are familiar with a North American football, it's like I'm going to throw it up at the top of my backswing behind me. You'll notice that my upper arm is not against my chest. So it's like this. It's not like this. One of the very important positions is at the top of the backswing, your left wrist should be flat. So from a side view, you want to look like this. You don't want to look like that. Now, a lot of people have problems getting the flat left wrist at the top of the backswing. So here's a very common problem with a lot of people in that we have rounded shoulders. A lot of us who worked in offices or sit at computers, you're slouched over and your shoulders eventually get rounded. So because a lot of people have rounded shoulders instead of square shoulders, it's a big challenge to try and get a flat left wrist when your shoulders are rounded. So what happens is because your shoulders are rounded, specifically the right shoulder, your left arm is fighting against that rounded right shoulder. And it's hard to get a flat left wrist when you have this force pushing against the left arm. So here's the problem. Because you're trying to force yourself having a flat left wrist, it's not sustainable because you're eventually you're going to lose out and it's going to bow on you at the top. So I'm going to show you a really simple exercise to help you get those rounded shoulders back straight and make it much easier to end up with a flat left wrist at the top of the backswing. Using any door in your house, place the inside of your forearms against the door jams with one foot in front of you. Now push your chest forward so that you feel your rounded shoulders getting straight. Try to hold that position for about 20 seconds. Now do the same thing, switching to the other leg in front of you. Do this exercise slowly and carefully the first few times so that you don't damage anything in your body. <laughs> 